Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here to talk you through how I went about fixing an issue which was the door frame stick further out than the finished plastered walls, causing an issue which is going to be when the architraves go on, you'll have a big gap behind them that needs to be fixed. I'm going to show you how I've done it. Now, if you see this is a perfect example of what I'm on about. This lip, so that when then, I'm going to grab a piece of architrave. <laughs> where you'll have then a big gap that is just unfillable. This is a perfectly fitted one here, which is extremely flush with the rest of the wall. So when the architrave goes simply on, it's smooth onto the finished wall. So you're thinking, how have I got myself into this situation considering I've built this and there's only a couple being these, the bathroom one and this one, which was um, in this state. And the reason for it was, is we were going to OSB either side of the wall, um, which would have been a perfect gap that we've got here to then when the finished plasterboard goes on top of that to be skimmed, it would have been perfectly in line with it. However, it, ch it got changed, and so these, this one, this particular case in here, door frame, um, has stuck out. So I've already done it to the bathroom one yesterday, and I'm going to show you what I've done to get it down. And all I simply need is this. It is my trusty planer. And all I simply do is rip all of it down so then basically flush with the wall, which I'm going to show you now. Ladies and gentlemen, if I put that on, I know it's just, just try and get it the correct way so you get a bit more of a correct idea of what it should be like. See now, space is basically zero. Once it gets pinned in, there's a bit of bowiness, architraves and things, but get it pinned in. And that's it nice and nice and done. I hope guys that gives you the confidence and a bit of a know-how what I did to give it a go yourself. And I'll just quickly show you my trusty planer. Just has a, a settings of how deep you want the uh, the cut effectively to, to be. And that just simply raises this bar up the further obviously the further cut you need. And that's simply it. So yeah, right, leave that as a wrap. I hope that was a very nice short sweet video for you to get an idea of how to fix these little issues. I'm just going to take a little bit more up there actually thinking about it. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one in a bit.